good evening all welcome to this new session uh, of neuroradiology science recently i have kept this science in the state ira conference which was held in hyderabad yesterday and today uh, so i will try to discuss few science in this session and i will try to cover the other science in the subsequent sessions so this is the first sign you can pause the slide and see the so guess the sign and diagnosis so this is nothing but called as inverted mercedes benz sign which is seen in case of subdural hematoma of the lumbar spine so these are the t2 sagittal t2 weighted images this is the t1 weighted image this is the actual t2 weighted image this is actual t1 weighted image here you can see these are the two denticulate ligaments and this is the dorsal septum so these two denticulate ligaments and the dorsal septum uh, these resemble the spikes of the uh, mercedes benz but they are in the inverted fashion and in between these locules are filled by the blood so these pair of denticulate ligaments are nothing but the two ligaments are extensions of the pia mater which anchor the spinal cord to the dura mater and helps in preventing the rotational movement and restricts the spinal cord uh, movements of the spinal cord so whenever you see this uh, inverted mercedes benz sign definitely suspect subdural hematoma of the lumbar spine so next case here you can see this is a you can pause the slide you can guess the sign and diagnosis so this is nothing but called as ependymal dot dash shine in multiple sclerosis this is the sagittal flare images here you can see there is multiple hyperintense tiny dots of hyperintense signals of nearly 1 mm and sometimes they coalesce to form a line which is classically seen along the ependymal surface of the ventricle uh, so this is very sensitive sign and greater than 95% and moderately specific greater than 70% predominantly seen in younger individuals that is less than 50 years of age it is classically seen in multiple sclerosis so ependymal dot dash sign has been described an early mri imaging feature of multiple sclerosis before the other uh, dots and fingers appear evident it has been also suggested that this sign helps in distinguishing multiple sclerosis from neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorder so whenever you see ependymal dot dash sign uh, definitely say it will be a early marker for suspecting multiple sclerosis especially in younger individuals less than 50 years of age next case here you can see uh, you can see this is the guess the sign and diagnosis here also you can see this is nothing but uh, sagittal t2 weighted spine image of the cervical spine you can see hyper intense signal noted in the anterior half of the cord on the actual t2 weighted and gr images clearly you can see there are two uh, hyper intense areas predominantly noted in the anterior columns of the anterior anterior surface of the spinal cord along the anterior columns so this mimics the snake eye so this is classical snake eye appearance or owl eye appearance or fried eggs pattern pattern which is nothing but hyper intensis in bilateral anterior horn cells of spinal cord uh, commonly seen in spinal cord ischemia but the other causes can be chronic compressive myelopathy pll thickening hirama disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or primary lateral sclerosis neuromyelitis optica and poliomyelitis so remember snake eye appearance in commonly in spinal cord ischemia next case here you can see this is other case uh, guess the sign and diagnosis here you can see there are hyper intense noted in the spinal cord predominantly posteriorly so this is nothing but called as inverted v sign or inverted rabbit ear sign so this is bilateral hyper intense t2 weighted signal noted in the postrofunniculus here you can see these are typically noted in the postrofunniculus or posterior columns this resembles the inverted letter v appearance so this is classically called as inverted v sign or inverted rabbit ear sign uh, which is commonly seen in subacute combined degeneration or vitamin b12 deficiency myelopathy but other cause of inverted v sign are nothing but this also resembles the inverted rabbit ear so this is also called inverted v sign or inverted rabbit ear sign so other causes can be nitrous oxide deficiency copper deficiency hiv vascular myelopathy diabetic myelopathy and tavis dorsalis that is tertiary syphilis so you can pause the slide guess the sign and diagnosis here you can see there are multiple hyper intense areas hyper and hypo intense areas in uh, laminated appearance so this alternative hyper intense and hypo intense areas are alternating bands of demyelinated and myelinated white matter which resembles the concentric rings uh, and resembles the onion bulb appearance this is classically seen in ballos concentric sclerosis other dds can be marpung variant of ms tumefactive demyelination adem lymphoma abscess and toxoplasmosis similar appear similar appearance can also be seen in concentric target and even eccentric target appearance which is nothing but differential can be seen in neurotoxoplasmosis so whenever you see alternative bands of 
of hyper and hypodemyelinating and myelinated white matters with adjacent perilesional edema, predominant in the periventricular location and syndrome of uh, definitely suspect Balos concentric sclerosis and this image is signing is sign is called onion bulb sign in Balos concentric sclerosis. Next, uh, guess the sign and diagnosis. Here you can see there are uh, typical hyper intense areas noted along the pons along the surface of the pons and also along the pontocerebral peduncles incidentally there is bilateral otomastoiditis so this is classically called as bloomerin sign which is seen in leptomeningeal metastasis or leptomeningeal carcinomatosis which is curvilinear t2 oblique flare hyper intensities on the brainstem surface typically affecting the pons which may be high on dwi with low signal on edc uh, this is common from leptomeningeal metastasis from lung adenocarcinoma most common with egfr mutations so here this is the science which I have uh, submitted in the state IRI conference. Thank you all.